salutations, my internet hellions. Welcome to the show. I am your host, Hells to the Yes. And I believe, in the entirety of the galaxy that we're in, I am the only actually sane person around. Um, and that includes computers, whose eyes keep glowing red for some strange, mischievous reason. Anyway, um, we have to continue and head over to the Groundbreaker. The Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Can we talk? Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson. Okay. What about, what about her? I was thinking that maybe I'd ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean... Somebody has a crush I don't got on much somebody. experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. Yeah. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. I mean, Did you we want got... to talk about something else? We got time. Uh. Nope. That's it. Do return in one second. I don't need you. I do need her. What are you doing? Just checking your ship's manifest. Standard procedure. Welcome to Groundbreaker, by the by. Mm -hmm. Hey, Captain. Up in space. I never thought I'd be able to say that. Okay. That's not the point. Big Pat would just knock out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. There weren't any witnesses. <laughs> no witnesses? He's not even denying it. Jackass had it coming. Shut it, Felix. You're not making this any better. Okay. None of my business. Oh. Gunner McRed. I know you. There's a lot of posters That's for you around here. Right this way. What? Identification, please. Uh, that's right. I am Alex Hawthorne. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Now, hold on. This is That was my world, thought. Probably. How do I get this resolved? With Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. It shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. I, eh, I take it this happens the a lot. Opposite. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations here. They must have a real big bee in their bonnets then. Everyone knows you don't trifle with Groundbreaker if you want to get your goods on time. If I had to take a guess as to why, you probably riled up the wrong petty board bureaucrat. A man named Udom Bedford. The one you just sent me to go see. You take the starch out of him, well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? What? I need experience, and I need cash. What do you want me Wanda to? Wanda Dorset over in Sick Bay. Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Oh uh, yeah, got it. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, you've been a freaking peach. I'm not gonna worry about any of that stuff. You seeing you? Okay. Let's go talk to Udom. Whoa. Wow. 
This actually doesn't look too freaking bad. What the hell? Is oh, that's Gladys. Well, I need to talk to Udom first. Go back to Byzantium, you cool. Yeah. I'm just gonna hang in the back and try not to touch anything. We need to talk. Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Has Oopsie. something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? Yup. Alex is dead. Oh no, this is terrible. My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? What is going on with this game? Oh, Alex. There were so many arguments we'd yet to have. What the hell was your relationship with this man? He was my dearest friend. My only friend. You have his ship, you must know. That picture of us on the promenade, me hugging him, him wincing. I keep a copy beside my bed. Did he? Uh... Um... Yep. It, it boosts my lie. Yep. Oh, that's just like him. Such a sentimental man. Tell me. How did he die? Seen alive by Feral Canis. It gives me XP! No! How dreadful. That was always Alex's greatest fear, you know. Devoured by those fiends. Becoming one with their... Their droppings. I'm very sorry, but can we please get back to right, the topic? Right, right. You are going important places, I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> there, I've removed the flag from your ship. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go, Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? Mm, no. No. That's, uh, well, that's just terrible news. Oh, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? Nope. I don't care. You're a damn bureaucrat, and I don't give two shits. This is going to be the hub of a lot of quests. I'm not going anywhere. You can't keep me out of there. Please don't make a scene, Dr. Fenhill. I am not making a scene. You're kind of making a scene. I'm sorry. Am I causing a scene? A little. Uh, you're... See, Umforo? We could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. Let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? As for okay. the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long, and she's apparently not receiving visitors. Okay. Be my guest. If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. I've got to talk to you. 
Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? One of the, if the you best. To better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. Speaking of... I am going to tell him exactly what they said. Wheeler told me to tell you to get off his ass about your shipment. Now. Enough on that man. I swear his late mother'd be ashamed. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever going to get my service mechanicals at this rate. Probably not. Oh, I could try to find I'd be him. Grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out, though. The place is probably crawling with outlaws. That's okay. I've got a gun that turns people into little bitty ash. Can't steal it in front of somebody. Ooh. Margaret ID cartridge? I don't know what this is. So I switched it to Jessie, and she's over there, which means I have to go through here, but it's restricted. But I picked up that. Oh, this is the hologrammy thingy. Thingamabobbers. Okay, so let's just jam out of here. You ever wonder if maybe folks keep doors closed for a reason? Uh, Ellie sent me. What? Why? Everything's fine. We're all fine here. No need for her to be worrying her pretty little head about me. I'm just terrible, dreadful, sick is all. Got a cough that won't quit and sores all over my body. Highly, lethally contagious. But I'll be fine, so long as I'm left alone. Really? Open the door before I kick it the hell down. Truth is, I'm not sick. But if you no. have about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. You uh ain't with the board, are you? See, I owe them a lot. I might have missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So I hold up here to lay low. Okay. What did you do? What? No, I didn't do anything. I'm a law-abiding denizen of this ship, I swear. Yeah. Think? No. I recognize a contracted killer when I see one, thank you. In my line of work, that's a skill you develop during week one. Assuming you want to keep breathing. All right, I'll fess this part up, too. If it means you'll help me. I'm a thief. Uh, okay. I in particularly high-end and historically valuable items. Three weeks back... I caught rumor that the blood tear diamond, last worn by an heiress on the Lost Hope, had surfaced for the first time in 70 years. So you stole it. If I had, you think I'd be hiding out in the med bay? I was gonna steal it, lined up Udom as my buyer. He paid half up front to finance the operation. Let's just say things went sideways about the time I got my hands on the diamond, and it crumbled to stardust in my palm. Anywho, I barely made it out with my life and nary a plan to make back Udom's deposit I'd spent. Uh, 
Ellie asked me to you help, so that's what I planned. Die on the station. He'd know how I stand with them. If you can square things for me, I'd owe you one even bigger than Ellie owes me. I'll nice talk to him. Support. You're a real pal. Or I guess I should say, Ellie is one, huh? Ah, ah, I got it. That's funny. No, it's not. Where am I going? So that's how the hologramming mumbo jumbo works. Why is my hand purple? Does it stay like that? Is that another fun issue with being unfrozen? How do you do? Oh, how might I assist you? Uh, I'm here about Jesse. Miss Doyle owes the board a significant sum. Alas, the only collateral she has is her organs. Compulsory donation is quite legal in such cases. I am not going to pay off her debt. But my persuade is high enough. Make her a slave. That's we'll do that. Reasonable. I guess it's better than losing your organs, but... I don't know, Captain. It just doesn't seem right. Miss Doyle is deeply in debt, and the board has every right to do whatever they like to recoup that debt. What guarantee do I have that she'll agree to the terms you negotiate? Um, way I see it, she doesn't have much of a choice. I quite concur. It's refreshing to deal with someone practical for a change. I will recall my collection agent. Tell Miss Doyle to report to me promptly for her first assignment. Now, will is there do. Anything else you need, or can I return to my work? Uh, we're leaving. Okay, let's get the groove on. God, there is so much to do here. I already know this. This is gonna be Wish I could like say good to see you, Ellie. three we episodes in itself. That ought to make you smile for once, huh? Nothing makes me happier than being even. That being right, that's nice too. The good news came through the wireless. Looks like you paid my debt to Jesse. I guess that means I owe you now, right? Tell you what, I'm a little short on bits at the moment, but I'm a decent scrapper and a better than average sawbones. If you're looking for a medic, I can work my debt off. You saying you'll work for me just because I help I'm Jesse? I'm honest, and I prefer not to. I was about ready to pick up another contract anyway, and you settled this in a pretty tidy fashion, which tells me you're competent. But we can say I'm repaying the favor if you prefer that version. She is literally the main reason I wanted to play this game. Um, I want to see... And I don't know. I want to see if the part from the trailer that I saw is in the game. Look, I get it. Taking on the corporation has left us with two choices. Bad and worse. But you have to choose. And you have to choose now. You know you didn't have to shoot either one, right? But it's fine, I guess. You just keep being you. If it's not, I'm going to be disappointed. But I still like this character, so she's coming with me. You won't be sorry. Or if you are, just add it to my debt and we'll figure something out. Welcome to the crew, Miss Ellie. We're real happy to have you. I love her. Yes! Okay. Gonna do some skill point distribution, and then we'll come back and see where to go from here. Okay, so our next spot should be Gladys. Yep.
Gladys. The beds are comfy, but you will want to check the mattress before you settle in. Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. Oh my god. You're here for a particular reason. Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient or an oven. Just like store bought. <laughs> Phineas sent me. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Lucky for us, Groundbreakers are free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. Ten thousand. Tell me well, about this opportunity. I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little moral flexibility. Might be this could help out the groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms, just you know tell me the detail. Over in engineering, sweet as a pea that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Okay. Can Admiral it's automated? I think so, and I trust the dear girl's judgment. Well, maybe not in men, but she knows her comms. So, like as not, someone's been down there recently. And if someone set up shop in Roseway, I'd wager they got something to hide. I appreciate a woman who knows one when she hears it. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. So you need someone to snoop around. My goodness, aren't you quick on the uptake? <laughs> I like that. She's like, absolutely! You find yourself responding to a certain distress call, and in so doing, find yourself in possession of certain valuable corporate secrets. Well... Then we ought to have a chat over a pot of tea and my famous cookies. Um, I'll stop by if I find anything. Oh, bless your atoms. Here's a copy of the SOS recording, complete with the coordinates. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. Thank you for your Anytime, time. sweetheart. You know where to find me. <coughs> Here, take a candy with you. Take a candy. Okay. I can break into that. I can take a hint. Oh. oh. I can. I can do it from behind. Will they notice? Great work. What do you think you're doing? Nothing. Let's just leave him. Official seal? Okay. To carry them are immediately arrested. Okay. So we're going to have to come back and get that. Sometime, somehow, some way. God, there is so much to do. Okay. Uh, 
Um, we still have to go. Talk to this June Lai. June June Lay? Whatever. Whatever the lady's name is. The engineer of the ship. Okay, so that's this way. So let's go talk to her. And depending upon what happens there, we may have to end it. We'll see. We'll see. Ooh. Something is on fire! This is healthy on duty. Hotter than usual in here. Hope we're not catching June Lay on a bad day. I could spend all day in here and not have looked at half the best stuff. It's all pretty worn, though. June Lay Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. Uh, I'm captain of the Unravel. He recently unshackled from Groundbreaker's impound. Good for you. Hope you scared some sense into those bureaucrats giving you trouble. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Marduks, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. No. It's too sarcastic. Ain't that always the way? So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Actually? Uh, I'm headed for Monarch, I guess. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprouts. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different, so welcome aboard. Dr. Fenhill, I hope you've reconsidered my offer to stay on full time. My crew are never short on dents and bruises. I'm trying to live a more balanced life. Gun in one hand, scalpel in the other. I already knew it'd be easier to teach an auto mech heart surgery than to change your mind. Fair travels, Ellie. You too. Well, I mean, I, I mean, it would be obvious, right? Groundbreaker's a small town in a big That's, ship, and yep. anyone who spends any time here gets to know June Lay. We don't see a lot of competent surgeons on Groundbreaker. Dr. Fenhill is my on-again, off-again freelancer. I take it she'll be joining your crew full-time? Apparently. I don't like to put a label on things. Let's keep it casual. If you ever decide to settle down, there's a home for you on Groundbreaker. And Parvati wanted to talk to you. What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking, I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. Nudger. <laughs> Come on! Keep talking! Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if, well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Come on, go, go. Wow, great. Oh. I'll do that then. Messages later. Oh, your your name's pretty too. I should have said sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. Nice job. Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. Oh, you're now, welcome. if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for my attention. Uh what's going on? Groundbreaker's radiators need repair. How can I help? They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. Is there no room for compromise? No, None. there's never is. Every time I give in to the board, See? Groundbreaker loses its freedom. Soon there won't be anything left. I can't allow that. The board isn't helping, and my resources are spread thin. 
If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. Uh, my science is high enough. You need a contractor. I'm available for a reasonable rate. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, I forgot not everyone knows this ship like I do. The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned, and a haven for miscreants now. Yes! I get to kill people! Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. Come on, guys. We got peoples to kill. Uh... I'm going to see if I can get hurt. Do I have any extra armor? Hold on a second. Now, now we got it. Let's go kick some ass. We got miscreants to kill. Why am I going to the unreliable? Um... Oh, God. She is. She's in love with her. Uh, yep, this is it. Yeah, it is here. Okay, so I'm gonna use this gun now. So now the question is, do I want to talk to him? Because I don't think there's any way out without paying them. Or um, you know, it, it it's gonna lead to attack. So. Ay, 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 stop hitting me! Hit somebody else! Oh, look, that's him. You're dead. Get out! Oh, shit. I think all my guys are down. Come on, come on! Oh boy. Okay, you're getting up, that's good. Jesus. You're like in pieces, so that's good. Okay, I'm gonna loot, find the pieces that I need, and then head the hell out of here. Okay, so it looks. Ah. <laughs> Got you. What do you say we get out of here before we join whoever that was on the grill? What?
I got a loot. But what are you talking about? There was a person on a grill? I didn't see... Where the hell was that? Okay, I think we are 100% looted. And I think... Besides maybe creatures running around? I think that's it. We're done. Yeah, here's some critters. A bread worm. Oh, it's a big giant maggot. Oh. One more. Okay, so we're done with this. Uh, we're going to finish this up next episode, though, because I don't think it's going to be just as simple as switching out parts. I think there's going to be more to it. There always seems to be. It's nothing like, oh, you got the parts here. Cool. Just put them right here on this table next to me, and I'll take care of it for you. No, it's going to be, I need you to go all the way down here and do 1,800 steps, and then install it yourself. So, we'll do that next time. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. As always, I will see you at the next show.